FNF, known as Friday Night Funkin', is a rhythm game that revolves around the character Boyfriend, who must defeat a variety of opponents in singing and rapping contests in order to continue dating his love interest girlfriend. Friday Night Funkin' became popular in around 2021. They also launched a Kickstarter that raised over $2 million, two and a half years in, and the stuff that they promised has yet to come. Let's do a recap on what events took place. First, we have to head back to when things started. Friday Night Funkin' was created by four people on Newgrounds. Ninja Muffin 99, Phantom Arcade, Evil Skater, and Kawaii Sprite. Around late 2020, these four creators participated in a game jam event known as Ludum Dowry. In the event, every participant has 48 hours to create a working video game from scratch based on a specific theme. Once the 48 hours has passed, Ninja Muffin and his team created a game called Friday Night Funking, which is how it was known as of today. In that time, the game doesn't really have that much content, but at least it works really well and still have its own success. As the game continues to grow more and more popular over the months, they continue to add more content to the game as well. Fast forward to April 2021 is when Week 7 was added. The creators see that the success of the game has gone up like crazy, but what's gonna come down is the Kickstarter. In the same month that Week 7 was released, they officially announced Friday Night Funk. Or game, Kickstarter. On the Kickstarter, you can support it by donating your money and you will get all sorts of perks out there. There's many many perks that you can unlock on this website, from t-shirts to putting yourself into the real game. Now they set the goal to $60,000 in order to bring this into life. The donations then start kicking in really quickly, reaching the goal almost immediately. Ultimately leading them to create a thing called a stretch goal, which is stuff they will add to the game if the money from those donations reach that amount. For example, if we reach $85,000, they will add a mobile bill, which is a really good idea because of how the game will be more accessible for all the players out there. But if the community wants to be more crazy, they can keep donating and eventually unlock all of these perks, which um, it actually happens. You see, at the top of the stretch goal, it's $1,865,000. But we have 2 million that was still needed. This means everything that you see here on screen has to be added. But oh boy, we aren't done yet. They will also have to add 20 new weeks, which is 3 songs per week. That alone is 60 songs without anything from the stretch goals. They will also have to add gameplay mechanics, cutscenes, multiplayer, leaderboards, custom charting, collapse, and everything from the stretch goal combined. What the f? In the first place, they expected the full game to be finished on April of 2022. Obviously, we know that did not happen. In reality, they just said that as their estimated time because it wasn't so serious, and that would have been the case if they only got donated $60,000, but they got way more than that. It's one of the issues for the game's release to be delayed, but that's not it. What also happened is that it seems like the issues were not just about the game, it's also about the perks that people donated were getting delayed as well. So people started complaining about how they haven't got their perks yet, making them think that they are getting scammed and getting their money taken away from them. But is this really the truth? Well, I don't think so. It's more likely because of how unprepared the devs were for this many donations to happen in such a short amount of time. What I'm trying to say here is, they did not expect the Kickstarter to be this successful. This time what they promised to add for us is taking way longer than expected. The site was last updated almost a year ago, and right now, only time is the way. Me, you, and 58,000 people who donated are going to be the ones who will have to wait till the game releases. Now that this whole thing that has been happening since 2021, the only thing that has been keeping us entertained this whole time is all the other Friday Night Funkin' mods out there. It's even more scary when you see the community making such good mods out there for us to play. It really made me think if the actual devs of the game are going to create something that's actually better than those mods that were created by the community. And that brings us to the second topic of what happened with the Friday Night Funkin' community and its downfall. While the actual devs of the game are working on turning their game into life, countless mods have been released to the public for the world to play. Many of them were awesome and amazing. But do you ever have that feeling where you just felt like you are playing the same thing all over again? Well, that's actually what I feel like right now. Try to think about it. What makes a Friday Night Funky mod successful? There's three key factors about it. One is what character and how cool is it. Two is what songs and what do the shots look like. Three is what gimmicks and mechanics does the mod have. You might say like custom cutscenes, secrets, weeks, quests, achievements. Okay, that's cool and all, but... I don't think that's a number 4. This is in my opinion, the main issue. Every mod that's released in the course of 2.5 years just has these 3 aspects every single time. And there's nothing else. 
Every time that I finished playing any mod, I just felt like I reached a dead end. It felt like I fully reached the top of the hill where there's nowhere else to go. At least that's what I think. It feels like you finished everything. Why play it again? I get that you guys here might be playing for fun, but you're playing the same thing all over again. Don't you ever get bored? I actually want to hear your thoughts about this, so comment down below on what you think about the FNF mods in general. Don't worry, there is a way to get out of these three same aspects, and that's for sure is to wait for the full game to be released by the devs themselves. We don't know exactly when they will finish everything and ready to release it to the public, that's for sure. But it also means that if they actually finish it, this will probably be the biggest update in FNF history. Even better than those community mods in my opinion. In conclusion, $2 million was donated to the Kickstarter which is way more than the expected amount for the death. Once people donate more and more money, they will also expect more and more from you as well. And one more thing, you should always get ready or be prepared for everything. Because the unexpected can happen at any time. Thanks for watching.